in this video, I'm going to cover all of the different kinds of formula parse errors in Google Sheets. I will look at some common reasons that you get these errors and how to fix most of them. So hopefully by the end of this video, you will have a good idea of what all of the different error types mean and you'll have some clues on where to look and how to fix them. So first, what is a formula parse error? A formula parse error is an error that is returned when Google Sheets does not understand your formula. The formula isn't working properly and so you are returned an error message. There are many different kinds of errors and things that can cause these errors, but the most common reasons usually include a typo in the formula, missing arguments, or too many arguments in the function, or some kind of cell reference issues. So these are the errors that you could get. Um, there's a pop-up that signifies there's a problem, or there's going to be either an NA value divide by zero reference error name or num error. And so I'm gonna go over all of these different kinds of errors in more detail just to show you why they occur and how to fix them. So the first kind of error that you may encounter is it's really just a pop-up that says there was a problem. And the reason that you usually get this error is that there's something wrong in the formula. So usually there's like an additional character. I'll just show you what that looks like. So I'll just add this, this character to the end of the formula that really shouldn't be there. And you can see what happens is this pop-up comes, pops up and it says there was a problem. It looks like your formula has an error. If you don't want to enter a formula, begin your text with an apostrophe. So again, the most common reason that you get this error is just there's some kind of character in your formula that shouldn't be there. So if you get this, just check your formula, make sure that what's in there is supposed to be there and delete any kind of character or misspelling that you have in there. So that will fix that error most of the time. The other common error that you may get is an NA error. So the NA error occurs when a value that the formula needs is not available. And it most often occurs when you're using some kind of lookup function and it can't find the value that you're looking for. So in this example, I have a VLOOKUP. And so what I'm looking up is I'm looking up this value. I'm looking up SOC in this range. But as you can see, SOC doesn't exist here. So what it says is it is not finding that value. And so it's returning an NA or a not available error. So the only way to really fix this is to make sure that whatever you're searching for is actually available where you are searching. And if it doesn't exist, um, you can use something like if error to control for that error message but sometimes you just may get this if this doesn't exist, um, which it might not. So you can either just accept that you're gonna have this error because this isn't in here, or again, you can control for it with if error to display something other than this NA message if you don't want that returned. The next common error that you may get is a value error, and this occurs when the data type that a formula expects is wrong. For example, if you're doing a math operation with a text value, you're gonna get this value error. So in this formula, I have A1 plus B2. Well, if you look at A1, this is actually text. So I'm trying to add text to a number. So what I meant to actually do is A2 plus B2. And so it returns a value error. And what it says is, function add parameter one expects number values but value one is text and cannot be coerced into a number so what you need to do to fix this is just make sure that the values in your formula are what they should be so double check the error message will usually give you some clues so in this case it tells me exactly the problem 
it's that I'm trying to use this text, but it needs to be a number. So if you get that error message, just read, read the error and then make sure the data types that you're using in your formulas are correct. So the other kind of error message that you may get is a divide by zero error. And this one is pretty self-explanatory. So some of the error messages that you're going to get are because they are mathematically impossible. So you cannot divide by zero. So I have two set up. I have five divided by zero and I have two divided by a blank cell and they're both going to return this divide by zero error. And that's just not possible to do. So if you have this, you can either accept this error message. You can hide the error with if error or um, you can just not run this formula because you know it's not going to work. Another common error that you may get is the reference error. And so this error message will occur when you have a reference that is invalid. So for example, a common reason you may get it is if you have a formula set up on some rows or columns and those columns are deleted. So let me just show you what I mean by that. So I'm going to do equals this plus this. And so right now it's zero. And then what I'm going to do is delete this. And you can see it returns a reference error. It says reference does not exist. So whenever you have a formula set up and those columns or rows or cells are deleted, this error message will return. Another common reason that you may get this error message is you're trying to reference a cell that is outside a data range or you're trying to do something that's basically out of bounds for the function you're using. So in this example, I have a VLOOKUP function. And so what the VLOOKUP function is doing is it's looking in columns D and E and then it's going to return column three. Well, D and E is only two columns, so I can't possibly return anything in column three in these two columns. So I get a reference error. Another common reason that you may get this error is if you have a circular dependency in one of your formulas. So in this example, I have this formula which is J2 plus L2. So here's L2, but then L2 is J2 plus K2. So basically this formula depends on the value of this and this formula depends on the value of this. And that is a circular dependency. So if that's the kind of reference error that you have, if you hover over it, it will say. So to fix this kind of error, you need to check what is causing the reference error. So if it was some deleted rows or columns that the formula was initially referencing, you're going to have to reset up your formula because those columns were deleted. If you're doing something like a lookup that's out of bounds, you need to make sure that the ranges that you have and what you're looking up for is within, within the bounds for this kind of function. Otherwise, you're gonna get this reference error. And if it's a circular dependency reference error that you have, you need to check out your formulas and make sure you don't have two that are set up on each other because this won't work and you'll get this uh, circular dependency error. So another common kind of error message that you are going to get is just the error message. And this usually occurs because you have um, some kind of issue in your formula that Google Sheets is not understanding. So it's a formula parse error. And usually this occurs because you have either extra or missing parentheses or quotation marks, really just any kind of mistakes in your formula. So in this example, I just have some additional quotation marks outside of the formula that shouldn't be there. And which is causing Google Sheets to not understand my formula. So if you ever get this error message, double check your formula, double check the syntax, make sure everything is what it's supposed to be and delete or add anything that either isn't there or is missing. And then that should fix that kind of error message. So the next kind of error message is the name error message. And you can basically get this for a few different reasons. 
Um, this one also occurs when there's a problem with the syntax of your formula. Most often, you're going to get this one because you have a misspelling in your function name. So in this one, I'm trying to do an if function, but I've added an additional f. And so if you hover over the formula, it's going to say unknown function. So if you get this, double check the function is spelled correctly. And if you spell it correctly, it should fix that. Now, another reason that you may get this error message is if you are either trying to reference a named range that doesn't exist, or if you're trying to perform a function like concatenate and you forgot to put quotation marks around your text values. So in this formula, I have concatenate, which combines two text values together, but I did not put quotation marks around the text values to signify that it's text. And so I get this name error. It is basically trying to search for a named range, Apple, but I don't have a named range created with that name in my sheet. What I'm meant to do is concatenate these together. And so if you add quotation marks, that should fix that error. The last error message that I'm going to cover is the number error. This usually occurs when you have numeric values that are invalid for the function you are using. This will return a num error. So it basically means that the numbers that you are using are not valid. So in this example, I have the square root function set up on negative one, but you can't use negative numbers with this function. You can only use positive numbers or zero. Otherwise, you're going to get an error message. So if I hover over this, it's going to say exactly that. Function square root parameter one value is negative. It should be positive or zero. So if you get this error message, double check the rules for the function that you are using and make sure all of the numbers that you're using as the parameters of your function are within the rules for that function. Because what's going to be causing it is you have a number value that is invalid for that function. And if you fix that, that should get rid of this error. And that is pretty much it for this video. I just wanted to give you an overview of all of the different kinds of formula parse errors that you will encounter in Google Sheets. Hopefully, if you were having an error message, um, just watching this video kind of helped give you some ideas on how to resolve it. If you have any questions, just let me know in the comments. Thank you for watching the video. If you haven't already, make sure to hit the subscribe button. If you have any questions or content suggestions, just let me know in the comments and I'll try my best to answer everyone.